Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a refurbished muck dye. This is that crochet top that I said I thought my daughter would really like. I don't know why I didn't record it. I'm going to blame it on the heat. But I just scrunched it up, secured it with some rubber bands, and then set it down inside this bowl that I got at the dollar store. And these bowls are great for doing muck dyes. I put on my mask, I sprinkled on some soda ash, and now I'm adding some ice. Now you want to just randomly sprinkle your dye around over top of the ice and you can choose any colors that you want for this. I just happen to be going with the earth tones because that's what she likes the best. Once you have all the dye on your project, you want to find a spot where you can set your bowl off to the side and just set it and forget it. And then you want to batch it for 24 hours after the ice melts. It's been 24 hours and now it's time to rinse out our project. First you want to start by using cold water and that's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the shirt and gradually increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs basically clear. From here I take it to the washing machine and I do a hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Synthropol and I do a third hot water cycle using Millsoft. Then I put it in the dryer and we'll come back and see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our refurbished top after it's been washed and dried. And I like it a lot. I don't typically gravitate towards the earth tones, but I think these three colors work really nice together. This is my first time using the rust brown and it really is pretty. I love bronze, I use that a lot. And I think that the moss green is just a nice uh, accent to it. I'm overall very happy with the way this turned out. It looks so much better now than before I started. So what do you guys think? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell for future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.